Another day, another mysterious death. Popular TikToker Kylie Marissa Roth dead, found, murdered? Question mark. She died at 36. Her family announced. My daughter Kylie has passed away. She touched some of your lives personally and some of your lives via her immense life on another platform. She doesn't even know what platform it was. She put it on LinkedIn, showing her age. But hey ho, I'm sure she was a lovely woman. I'd never really heard of her. I think I'd seen her face somewhere on Twitter or something. She basically did celebrity and conspiracies and exposed a few things and said what we were all thinking. Really, um, the bit that I find suspicious. Her cause of death remains unknown. Now, I'm not a clever man, nor I am a stupid man, but I guarantee if you got someone, anyone with a brain who's done, you know, murdering and killing and deaths and stuff, well, I guarantee they'll be working it out. She was murdered because she was about to expose. I was exposing celebrities, exposing governments, exposing beliefs and opinions that would get her murdered. Someone wanted her dead, and now she's dead. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That's a theory, though. A game theory. What do you guys think? I think maybe. But let's delve into it a bit more. She was apparently a lovely woman. I'm sure she was. And she's just dead. And no one knows why. Lots of people are upset. They commented stuff saying, oh, I'm sad. You know, oh, I'm sad. Cry face, cry face, thumbs down emoji. Whatever people put on the internet these days. But she basically has been, I think here, revealed celebrity gossip died last week so she basically just talked about celebrities what went on yacht people i've seen that video how did she die ladies and gentlemen well let's find out this is the last known video of kyle marissa roth alive unfortunately she was getting too close to the truth They're getting too close to the truth <laughs> i love when fucking videos say that she was so close and mysteriously dropped Dead. With the Maui fires in 2023, then you know there was a lot of stuff circling that that just didn't add up. The fact that Oprah was continuing to buy acres and acres and acres, building a massive plantation of sorts on Maui. That's weird. Why on earth was Oprah Winfrey buying land when it was burning? You know? I'll tell you what, it's one person I don't like is Oprah Winfrey, and it might be the internet is infiltrating my mind and set this virus. But she's just linked. There's videos of her kissing Harvey Weinstein. She's probably got pictures of Jeffrey Epstein. You know, there's loads of stuff on the internet, and I reckon Oprah knows a lot more than she lets on. Many other celebrities, likewise, trying to build a huge real estate portfolio on the small island which is controlled by the elites. And of of course, conveniently, there happened to be a big fire that swept through and took out large parts of the island, allowing them to come in and get even more land. But it gets so much darker than that. If you take a look at what happened afterwards with the so-called charity efforts, you see an extremely dark story where this money is being used to now fund more land purchases. Interesting. So, you know, you got let, let's take this with a huge grasp of salt, not a pinch, a grasp. It's on Rumble. Rumble is like, you know, the um, the poor man's YouTube, to put it nicely. I, I've never been on it except a couple of times, but I think it's where people go once they're kicked off YouTube. Me personally, I think, you know, there's a lot of shit that's gone on with these fires. I didn't even know it was a conspiracy and the whole place set aflame. You know, global warming, this, that and the other. But why were celebrities and people buying the land? You know, what goes on in there? These rich people, billionaires like Oprah, are now asking everyday people for money. Clearly, she has enough to do that. Unless, of course, she wants one thing and one thing only, power and money, and to continue to use the blood of children to stay looking as young as possible. <laughs> What the fuck? You know, we were talking since I was on board. Maybe they were buying the land for something or another. What? Who knows? But my God, she does not suck the blood out of children to stay young. Oprah Winfrey's a fat old lady who does not look good for her age, all right? I'm not fucking for a minute believing that this woman... You know, you look at and you go, you look at least 60, all right? You know what I mean? It, it doesn't... Oh my fuck. She does look younger than she did then though, didn't she? Oh, it could just be Botox, couldn't it though? That could literally be money and... You know what I mean? God, I hate... Look how... Look... Right, I take my opinion but I've not looked at Oprah Winfrey ever. Look at her face and look at her face. Look at her face and look at her face. Bro, she's sucking children's blood. It's confirmed. I've proven it. Theory confirmed. She is a child drinking blood theory man, woman, whatever she is. At least she's not Michelle Obama or Michael Obama as we all know she actually is. Or he is. I don't know. You want more? I'll give you more. Hey, do you guys remember when The Rock collaborated with Ozembra on colonizing all of fucking Maui? Uh, and they stole the grassroots 
uh, mutual aid, direct aid movement. Uh, and I'd had it, I still, it's still in my link tree for the Maui fires that the locals started. And then they pirated this campaign and asked us all, all us peasants to give money when they are literally, literally billionaires. Uh, and they are spending all of our money on buying up the land in Hawaii. Interesting. It was funny how billionaires are asking you to donate money to a cause. That's what I love. I think very much in giving to charity, I think it's important, but how the fuck do you know where your money goes? You know what I mean? You never know. There's no proof. You don't get a receipt. You don't actually see it in action. They just build a few wells and say, oh look, here's where your money went. I did it. Have you, have you got any proof? C can I see the evidence please? Or is that just someone else's or anyone else's? Or did you just keep mine and, you know, did bare minimum? You know? I'll tell you that one method they typically use is lacing a substance with something that will take you out almost without a trace. It's easy to do, only takes one person to cooperate, and typically they never ever ever get caught. It's extremely hard to avoid that. The only way you can is to never use any substances. She was getting too dangerous for the system. She was especially reaching young liberal women, the one group that is the most protected when it comes to the elites. That is the- This shit's giving me chills, bro. Imagine if she was murdered for, you know, her personal beliefs, her opinions, and trying to expose certain truths. But you could have asked the question, how does she know? You know what I mean? She doesn't seem like she's in the loop of, like, President Trump. You know what I mean? She's not sat at the white table fucking scratching her nuts while everyone else does the work. Why is she- oh, or how is she even knowing or have these theories? Like, you, you got to remember, people are love a theory. I love thinking about what could go wrong, you know? And it, uh, theories usually end up in doom, demise, and misery. And to think that The Rock and Oprah, you know, steal children and suck their blood in a stealing, you know, land in Maui for God knows why is an interesting story. And I'd like to read it in a book, but I don't think it's true. I think the vaccine had a more chance of killing her. Brainwash, even though there's a lot of people that are starting to wake up. And that right there is extremely scary to them. We must continue the fight that she started. We must continue to post videos exposing everything we cannot rest. We have to make sure that all of the work that she did was not for nothing. And I can tell you this right now, it certainly wasn't. I'm not done with this yet. I'm going to continue to get to the bottom of it and we have to actually have justice. We justice, vengeance. All right, guys, conspiracy hat time. Do you think she died murdered? No, she was not murdered, not a chance, not in the slightest, I don't think. But was she? Possibly. Look, let's consider both sides. Why would she be? Because she was making TikToks to young left girls? Um, question mark. You know, it doesn't really make any sense to me. Okay, she was trying to expose something uh, to the wider audience and someone killed it. Who killed her? Substances, you know, you can't kill someone without a trace. I know he said that, but that's just purely stupidness. You know what I mean? The Russians, when they kill someone, they would not leave a trace, do they? But they leave poison and everything over the scene and that's how they worked out it was them. I'm talking about like the Shesnov poisonings in London or UK, wherever it was. Selsby, Shelsby, I can't remember. But you don't think if we had sort of poisons and magical powders that killed people and people couldn't find out, you don't think people would be using them and you'd know more about it? Ow. But saying that out loud, maybe it's that much of a conspiracy that you just don't know about it. That could also be true. That could also be true. Me... I think, yeah, there is something, something stinky in the atmosphere. Everything from COVID to Epstein to P. Diddy, I believe there is something big. Do I think the Maui fires were, you know, something dodgy? No, I've not seen any videos or any evidence. And I know she was about to say something about Oprah buying land and all this. And that is weird and I don't like Oprah. And she does look a lot younger than she did 10 years ago. I'll give her that. But this is like, you know, reaching out at tinfoil hat territory. I don't know. I think possibly though. Well, I know for a fact something stinks in the atmosphere right now and something dodgy is going on everywhere you look, everywhere you go. I get that. But what about this? It's just sad. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the conspiracies. Funny one. Funny one. I'd like an autopsy and to check a blood toxicology or whatever. You know what I mean? See what actually happened because maybe she just tripped. Maybe she had a heart attack. Maybe she was really unhealthy. Maybe she smoked 30 cigarettes in an hour and dropped. We don't know. Uh, we don't know.